Hello everybody and welcome once again to Mechanism 110. Today I am going to start with plastics. The reason I want to do plastics is because I'd like to do some more flashy lights and torches. So let's get on with it. I've already prepared some stuff. I've got that in my personal chest here. Let's have a quick look. So I've got some basically some upgrades and I've also got a, a biogenerator and some fuel with us. So that should keep everything running smoothly and let's go down in here now what we need to make there's quite a few items that it's quite a few items so let me get my piece of paper out to written it on so we basically need some power so I'm going to use the gas burning generator again so let's make one of those first of all so the gas burning generator is this one so we need the electrolytic core so we need two of these so we need plenty of those let's have a look what have i got in here plenty of those it was dust mostly wasn't it that might be sufficient yes so we need two of these take two we need one for this and one for the electrolytic separator, if I remember correctly. We also need mm, steel casings. We probably need quite a few of these, actually. So we need glass, steel, and osmium. Plenty of glass, plenty of steel, plenty of osmium. And I think if I've got enough resources, I'll make five of these. Oh, yes, got plenty. Let's make five. Now, what else do we need in here? We have enough items for the gas burning generator. We also need the electrolytic separator. And that's a similar recipe. What are we missing? Iron ingots. We also need three pressurized reaction chambers. And that's these things and these are actually we need two of these and we need an enrichment chamber as well so again we need these so what do we need from here just the control circuits take a stack of those or what we got left of us so with a bit of luck we can generate three of these great now they don't stack so we also need some gas tanks and I would like to make four of these, maybe even five actually. Yes, I can make five. The in inventory gets full pretty quickly, don't, doesn't it? Now, the reason I want five is because we're getting oxygen and hydrogen from the electrolytic separator, and I'll put those straight into these tanks. And the other two are required for this item here. So we need the enrichment chamber. Have I done that already? Yes, I have. So we're also missing some, we need a dynamic tank. So we need one bucket and four steel. We'll only need two of these actually. So we're buckets. No, we don't. We need just one of those dynamic tanks. Because when you make one, you make four. So that should now allow us to do the in pressurized reaction chamber. We need two of these. So let's do the second one. I think we've got everything prepared for that. So enrichment chamber, pressurized reaction chamber, that's great. And we don't need these dynamic tanks anymore. But I'd also like to make some solar panels. And they're quite expensive. So let's have a look, see what I've got in here for the solar panels. I've got plenty of glass. Plenty of osmium. Um, I'm going to make two advanced solar panels. So we will need for that eight solar panels. Therefore, we need for the 12, 24 solar panels. So we need lots of redstone and that. Let's have a look. What do we have? Lots of redstone. Pro yes, probably not. Yeah, that should do. 
Oh, one short, three short off. Well, it's not glass, it's not redstone. So it must, it's not Osmian. Oh, it must be the, yes. The enriched alloy. And I don't have any of that with me. Right, we quickly make some more enriched alloy. I think four of these will make 64 enriched alloys. Oh, 32, that's even better. So we need some iron. Well, maybe I've got some iron in here. You have some iron dust. 46. Oh, I've got plenty of iron dust. Look, 64 as well. Leave this 44 in there. And we'll put half of these in. No, we'll put the whole lot in too. We'll probably need lots more iron anyway. Smelting factory. Now we have enough to start with getting this one working. I'll put it all in because it goes fairly quickly and what we have extra doesn't really matter so we needed just one or two of those didn't we so we need to make one more of these and that's 24 so now we need to make these energy tablets I can't make too many of these because it feels like it's what doesn't they don't stack so maximum I can make is six and I need to make eight in total so we need lots of oh, need lots of gold for that as well I'll move the bucket out of the way for the time being. Don't need that at the moment. I have some already there, but we'll need those later on. Um, gold. 64 gold. What else is used? Redstone, I think. I probably haven't got enough redstone in there. Redstone here. And, of course, we'll need these. So I'll make four of those to start with. So that will then allow us to make these items. That's quite neat because it actually does, does allow you to move things into into here quite happily, one after the other. So that's three, four. Now we can make the advance that we're missing. Oh, did I not press the plus button on that one? Let's go back to this one. There we got the four. And we've got the one advanced. So we need to do that again for these. So we need four of these. One. Two. I'm still missing a rich alloy. You get through a lot of this. I've still got enough. My goodness. Right. And I don't have anywhere. Oh, we can get rid of some of this though. We don't need everything we've got on us. We don't need these glass panels. And I don't think we need the glass at the moment. We'll definitely need some more iron. Oops. in here. I don't think I need iron dust for other things. But if I do it's quick enough to make some. Right, 60. F seven. Mouse tweaks puts it in the wrong place. Doesn't matter very much. So right, what are we up to now? We're still going to make these. And now I've got no Osmian dust. I'll put that away as well. Maybe that's in this chest. Three. Four. One. So now we have what I'd like for the power supplies. They actually produce a reasonable amount of power, the um, advanced solar panels. But we'll need these later on anyway, so I'll put back these items in here. I'm also going to have to make a pump. Let's have a look what we've got now. Have I got an extra gas tank? Or did I not put it away? 
Why did, I think I threw my personal chest on the floor, I did. Or maybe I used too many gas tanks. I think I used too many gas tanks. I need to make some more gas tanks. And dynamic tanks as well. We'll put it away in here for the time being. So gas tanks with redstone and osmine, I think. Three. That will be enough. Right. We've got four gas tanks in then. So now we need to make a pump. So we need another steel casing. I don't think I have enough for that at the moment. Glass and steel. Of course I've put those away now. Sort this just out easier to see because steel knows where that is and glass I know where that is. And of course we need some more enriched alloy. I've gone through about three stacks of that I think now just recently. And a bucket. So we got the bucket. I knew we needed the bucket for something. So now we have the pump. Right, that's everything that we need, I think. Anyway, outside, I shall tr quickly trundle outside and go to the desert base. Mechanism works well in the desert. It's actually night time, but it doesn't matter very much. Bit jumpy then. Right, on the desert base. I wonder if I'm planning to do this outside because I'll move things inside later on when we've got everything sort of sorted out in terms of spaces where I want to put it, put everything. This is well lit up at the moment, so there's not too much chance of mobs being around. It says Sand Mountain, because there was a Sand Mountain here, of course. In fact, I should remove that marker anyway. So, I think I'll do it around about here. And I have forgotten to do something. I need some water. Let's go and get some. There's two buckets here filled with water. Because we just walked past the water source, which was um, what I need for the infinite water supply for the pump. Three mobs down there just behind me, but I think those are in the ground. There's a tunnel, a set of tunnels underneath there, so let's just choose this one. Right, two buckets of water. So what we'll do first of all is we'll lay things out. Um, basically, I wanted to try to make it in a line so I'm going to make the pump at the back here. So let's start here. Just make a hole at four. Bucket of water is fine for digging up sand. And we'll put one in here. Get the other bucket down. And put the other one in here. So now there's our infinite supply of water. So what I would like to do now, I'll move this out of the way and put in here a place for the pump. The pump needs to connect to something. And it will need to connect power and yes, it will need to connect to power. So I should have some universal cable, good. And then I can connect the pump to that. So what I'll do first of all is I shall put down this personal chest here with all the mechanism stuff in. Makes life a bit easier. And what have we got that we want from in there? Actually, I brought some stuff I didn't want with me. Never mind. Let's move those out of the way and bring the stuff down that I want. Bring down the upgrades as well. 
you'll see you'll see why we need those later on and that should be enough don't need the buckets now I don't think right okay so now we need to make pump down here so that connects and that goes into the water so right now that's picking up stuff into the water but it needs power and the way I'm going to give it power is with these solar panels so let's we're in the desert so it's a pretty good place for solar panels anyway so let's put one two that will do and the solar panels are here and they need to connect this side so what I'd like to do is put the first one down say here oops wrong one is this in ridge mode I think it is there we go so that now connects up and we just need to move out of range of that one and it may well be here check that great they're touching which is close as it can go so the pumps you now have plenty of power except for it's night time so there'll be no power what I could also do here is to put down an energy cube. I don't have one with me, I don't think. I might have one inside. Let's have a quick look, because I've got a chest in here with mechanism stuff in as well. And I think that's the sand one. This is the mechanism one. Let's pick this one up. collecting plenty of mechanism items at the moment aren't I so we'll put this one down beside the other personal chest as well right good so here we have now plenty of piping as well and upgrades and plenty of sand as well that looks like this was from the digital miner when I was mining the, the mountain it sorted everything out. Now, oh, yes, I pressed. I wanted to sort it, and I pressed the pump button. Never mind. Right, good. So now the next item we need to do is to give this thing. We need this to come out into the electrical separator, which will be put down put down here. There we go. Um, I think that is fine. And then the water, so we need some mechanical pipes. Logistic pipes, I don't really think I need too many logistical pipes in this case, but mechanical, we do need a few of those. So we can put the pipes up here like this. It can go on the top. So that should connect there. And also, I would like this now to have the hydrogen separate, uh, the gas burning generator. The gas burning generator will produce both oxygen and. Um, no, it'll use hydrogen, but this will produce oxygen. That's what I was thinking of. And now, what I'd like to do is to put two tanks beside this, like this. And the tanks will connect in any direction, but will only output on the one face like this. So if we put those two down like that. So those are now connected to this. You can't see it at the moment, but these should start to fill it with gas when it becomes daytime. As soon as it becomes daytime, this will start to power up. And what I'll do here is I'll replace this and put in here a um, energy cube of some description. So this does not we won't see any power yet let's have a quick look at these see here it says there's no sun at the moment but it will start up fairly soon well it's quite a job to do this actually there's lots of steps and it's also quite important to place things in the right position so you get reasonable optimization now here you can see the water starting to pump into here and of course these two will be empty but these two should start to be filling up now with the hydrogen we shall connect this to a gas burning generator so let's put the gas burning generator down one pipe away from this this one like that 
and it's going to take hydrogen from here. So we need some, then now we need some pressurized gas tube pipes, which should be in this chest as well. Basic universal cables, advanced. Mm, probably haven't got enough gas pipes. I probably have to go back and make some more. So I'll put one down here like that. And as you see that then so suddenly got hydrogen in it and started to generate hydrogen here. So that's great. So now we're getting power. What I'll do with the power is I'll take it down below and power all the machines from below because that's the easiest way. So we'll just dig up a little bit of trough here so to put some universal cables in here. And connect, start connecting this up. Now I don't have enough with me at the moment, do I? Oh, got one more. And I just put a gas pipe on the top of there. You can see this is a the gas symbol. So let's go and get the pipes that we need. Oops, I'm still in rotate mode, so I need to turn that up. Hit it with something else. Basic universal cables, advanced pressure tubes transports the rest of the transports and basic logistical but oh, right okay I definitely need to make go and get go back and make some more pipe some gas pipe specialized pipes I've done the same thing again haven't I okay quickly remove that and this time that's basically universal that's mechanical and I want oh yes I want basic universal I'm going to have to go back and do that quickly because we definitely need... Where are the horses? I thought there was a horse there. It's funny actually, every time I dismount the horse, when I was quite near to base, it disappeared for about oh, mm, three, day, three or four Minecraft days. And I couldn't find it. And I think, if I remember rightly, it should be over here. see it today but we can I was going to take the other one and build a build a path across so you don't have to um, go to this side because every time I dismounted here the horse disappeared that's the thing the other side was fine so we need some pressurized gas pipes And the basic pressurized ones will be fine. So we need steel and we need. So I'll take three sets of those. Have I left the steel on the other side? I have, but that's no problem. We need six. Let's make some steel ingots quickly. Wrong place. Can I reach it? I can reach it up here anyway. So now we get some steel ingots and some iron ingots. And we wanted some glass was the third thing, which I've also left there. I don't believe it. I've got five glasses. Let's do thirty-two. Right, that's enough. And so we want these basic pressurized pipes. Twenty-four, sh twenty-five should be enough for that job. Right, off we go back again. So with the horses, oh, and of course the tree farm's just doing is working very nicely at the moment, except for that's full. Why is that full? Well, we'll look at that later on. I won't have time this episode, but next episode, well, it should be a problem. So I was going to build build a path across here so that I can ride the horse over here. It saves a lot of time. You're going about three times faster, and I can't fly that fast either. So. The best is probably the horse. The only trouble with the horse is you've got to have leads to keep them in place. And for leads you need slime, so that's another interesting exercise, finding slimes. Hmm. 
Now, the hydrogen is also needed for the pressurized reaction chamber. So that'll be the cables, won't it? So we need the, here we go, pressurized gas tables. So the next machine in the line here is we've now got power. So what we need to do is we need the pressurized reaction chamber. So let's get that into place here, enrichment chamber. It's actually the last one, the pressurized reaction chamber here. And what we need into this machine is two things. I'm just thinking where to put it. Maybe here would be a nice place. The reason I want to put it here is we need gas and we also need um, biofuel. Now for biofuel we need a crusher. I've already got one made from a, the previous time. And that looks like a crusher here. And I think it's also got in it uh, the upgrades are already installed from also from the previous time I was making this. So if we put the crusher say here, get out of the way of it. So these will need power. So let's just go underneath here and dig out these two blocks. Jump into this hole, pick up the sand, and then we can put the universal cable down. I should put my universal cable in a sensible place. Let's put it here. Let me kind of pipe beside it. Great. So here we go. This is this is really quite a an exercise. Right there we go. So these machines should now be powered. What I've got to do here? Oh, I'll put the pressurized chamber down here. That was silly. Let's just move that. I wanted the crusher. Right, one crusher. So that also has power. I think this also has upgrades in it. So it's got energy. They'll be they'll all be maxed, and four and four speed. I'm going to do the same for this machine too because this is going to use a lot of power. So we'll give it uh, the speed and the energy when that's free. In fact, energy is probably more important. Maybe I should take some of those out. But this is quite a noisy machine. I'll leave the mufflers off so you can hear what it sounds like when it's actually running. And you can hear the power going here, that's basically, uh, let's have a look. It'll be increasing the capacity here now. Yeah, it went from 16 to 20, I think. So, in these two um, chambers here, one of them should be hydrogen. And the other one should be a biofuel. So what we would like to do next, or what we need to do next, is to connect these two pipes to get to the machine together. And for that, I do need the listed dis the logistical transporters. I don't need to turn this chest around just yet. Wrong one anyway. There we go. The basic ones We've got 51 up here, which is probably a good number. Um, move the sand out of the way and bring this tool down here so we've got what we need together so let's put this now onto here and that becomes interesting because now we've got to conf reconfigure this so we need to f uh, change the items configuration to items which is one it was on wrench so this time it's on items and then we set this to uh, force the output in fact I don't think I need to but on this machine here, it's got three different modes. So we're going to bring hydrogen in the back. So it's getting power from the back. So I'll have to move this torch. Whoa, that was a bit fast. That's because I'm using the bronze pack. So let's just put this down here. Oh, let's jump in the hole and pick up the sand and stuff. Right, now the hydrogen. So we can take the hydrogen out of here and feed it in that way. That should be that should work quite nicely. Or we can take it over the top. I think I yeah. In fact, it's actually connecting both sides. We can turn this one off. I think if I come over here and what well, does it even matter? Probably doesn't even matter actually. So now we can come to this machine and we can configure it. 
So, side configuration. Energies at the bottom, that's fine. And the top would be input. We don't need the input at the top. What we want is the input to come from the side here. Okay. And then it has three different things. It's got fluids, because this is also going to need water. So the water I'm going to bring out of here and bring it into the top. So So let's take some water. Mechanical pipes. Let's see if I can reach this one over here. Put it on the top. And then bring it back. And that should join up. Great. So I think this is by... Few, uh, yeah. So anyway. So let's go back to this. So let's do the gases first. So the gases are coming in from the back and going out on the right hand side. That might be okay. Probably change that anyway. So now you see the gases are connected up. And this is now full of gases. And then the items want to connect from the side, which they have done. But we've got nothing in here yet. Let's put one in here. That goes out and comes into here. That's good. So then the last item we need is water. So water is going to come from the top. So we come back to this side configuration. And this is the fluids. So the top is this side here, and it made a noise as you hear, so let's turn that one off. So now it's got water in, and it's got hydrogen in, and it's made a substrate. And also we should see a little bit of ethylene in here. And now what, basically this is the end of my episode, because I've got to do almost exactly the same again. But this time we're going to, instead of using water in one of these, um, rotary condensers is actually what we need in one of these um, pressure reaction chambers we need to use um, liquid ethylene which we take the rotary compressor to compress it and we should produce this in fact that should produce two substrates from one biofuel so let's just take some biofuel I've got some plenty of that I think one of these chests here And I can put the biofuel straight into here like that. And each you see that's the sort of noise it makes. So let's put into that the upgrades now for the muffling. And you can hear it just goes down a little bit. Probably you can't hear because I turned down the game sounds a lot. So the only other thing you can then hear was the um I think it was the, the gas burning generator, which you can't make quieter. So, now we've got a reasonable amount of ethylene in here. So the next thing I'm going to do is have to get a way to put saplings. It will probably be the best, because I've got stacks of saplings to produce the substrate. Uh, we'll put them into the crusher somehow, rather, probably with a hopper. And then that will produce this biofuel, which will get fed into here, and substrate. And then from the substrate, we then make the, the, the pellets for the plastic, the H HDPE pellets so wow that's a lot it's a bit complicated and we also need oxygen as well and for the next one so that's all of it's going to be used which is really quite good so until next time I shall say bye for now bye for now